Hello guys, welcome to a new video on Tower of God New World and in this video I just wanted to quickly go over the three new videos that have been uploaded from Night Marble, the one for the spring event and the two ones for the new units. Before doing that I just wanted to mention two quick things. The first one is that I'm not going to uh, like make a new video on the dev notes because I already made one yesterday and the translation was quite accurate. I read the new one in English uh, like quickly and it didn't seem like there were any major uh, discrepancies so I was like okay cool I don't have to make another video I will still talk about them a bit uh, in the live I'm planning for tomorrow so this was the second point I wanted to mention tomorrow at 9 p.m. Central European time I'm going to go live and do pools farm for the new ignition weapons and talk a bit more about the units my first impressions etc I will still make like first impression videos and stuff but at least like during the live I think it makes more sense to uh, try to talk about it more, I don't know, openly and with all of you all together. You can ask questions, I can try to, to respond to them. I think it's more interactive, is a bit better as a format when there is a new update, in my opinion. So that's what I'm going to do. Again, I repeat the time, 9 p.m. Central European time. That's when I plan to go live. The live will probably last one hour and a half around that time probably two hours if i really have a lot of things to to talk about but yeah that's the plan and i only talked about this live thing in the discord so if you are already in my discord server you will already know otherwise you will you know it now from my video so yeah i will see you guys tomorrow at 9 p.m central european time now let's just go over the videos and the first one is the one for the event. From this one, we're just going to see the skins, mainly. And yeah, maybe the boss, but really nothing much. All right, so here there is just a scene, Leroro and Yuri. Pretty cool. Yuri was so badass when she was a regular. This seems to be Quant's skin. In my opinion, it doesn't make any sense to give Ranker Quant a regular quant skin but i guess that guy is not relevant enough to get <laughs> like a new unit like the regular version of himself is just way too useless and this is also regular hansung Yu, but they use the exact same design as the ranker one which is a shame probably i don't see why I'm, at least i don't know change the costume something but whatever so yeah quant got what he deserved because he's just useless And now, yeah, we don't see anything, but that is like this special skill or something. And this should be the Sandworm boss. Even though they are showing another boss late, later, which I guessed was the boss for the part two, but here it's just written part one, so I'm not sure anymore. But they only talked about the Sandworm, which was the one that was just kicked out uh, by Yuri. Now, in this screen, we already see the four skins. So the one for Quant, whatever. The one for Kunagero is terrible, in my opinion. Those shorts are really awful. Those long socks, whatever. I really don't like it. If it's free, I'll take it. Otherwise, no way I'm going to buy that. Then we have the one for Endorsey. Should be okay. Nothing too crazy, but it should be a nice skin. The one for Rachel is actually the better looking one the issue is that this skin is for rachel so if it's a paid one no way i'm going to take it and what i said in the previous video will stand true if this is a paid skin and you're going to buy it and somehow i find out who you are on my discord server i'm going to ban you that's for sure now if it's free then whatever we can take it it's a free skin and you can use uh uh, tiara a bit earlier before she's released so it's quite nice i would say and then here we're going to see this boss which shouldn't be the one for the event it should be the one that was kicked out by yuri but who knows and i think this scene is just pretty much useless this guy walking out Okay, yeah, pretty much useless. So, good. We saw the skins, and I would say two of them are terrible. 
one is okay and one is good. Unfortunately, the good one is the one for Rachel, but okay. Now we have the videos for Yuri and Leroro. They are both green, so the leaks were right. And Yuri is an assassin, Leroro is a support. So again, leaks were 100% right. Now, the first thing I want to mention before looking at the video is that Yuri is an assassin and she should have a conceal because otherwise the new kit, like the new ignition weapon, makes really no, like doesn't really have any sense. Because Kunran, okay, Kunran is probably the best user for that set, but even then it's just a slight upgrade over the Bergamot one. Kiseya cannot really use that, I think, and neither can anyone else, because okay, we have Evan that can then conceal one other unit, but it's only one time at the start of the battle, so you lose out on the additional, um, what like the additional HP regen that the set gives you while you're concealed. You are not getting that because you are full HP at the start of the battle. You are just getting five seconds worth of crit rate that cannot be repeated anymore. So at the end of the day, you're only getting the crit damage. Makes no sense. But we're going to go in more detail once we have the actual sets released and we are in game. For now, let's just go over the video see what her kit looks like. I mean, her kit is just plain destruction, kicks and punches. So yeah, pretty cool. I mean, it fits the design of the unit, so it makes sense. The thing is, the kit seemed way too like single target in my opinion. That's a red a red flag for me. And also I saw no conceals whatsoever. This thing here seemed just a self buff without concealing because her figure doesn't disappear or anything. So this doesn't look like a conceal. What could happen, like for Viol, for example, he has 10 seconds of invincibility in his Exusia equipment. She could have conceal in her Exusia equipment. We don't know. That's the only option left, I would say. If she doesn't have conceals, the new set is really terrible, in my opinion. But who knows? For now, I'm just going to stick with this. Yuri seems fine. She needs to have damage reduction. I hope this kind of cell buff is a sort of damage reduction. Uh, like for Vicente and Kuran, because she is a close range unit, obviously. She's not going to have that many dupes unless you really want to invest in her. And she's single target. Those, All of those are like red flags to me, but they could just, I don't know, give her crazy multipliers, crazy base attack and stuff. She could still be awesome, but we don't know. We have to wait for the like the actual unit to be released tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to go more in depth in my first impressions. From these videos, guys, really we cannot say anything. Now here we have Leroro. This guy is a light bearer. I saw a post of a guy that said uh, there was already a Q&A done where it was explicitly said this guy was a top fisherman when he was a regular and only switched to light bearer when he became a ranker. So this would be inaccurate. But I don't have any details on that. I have no idea, to be honest. And again, to be honest, I don't care. It's fine. It's a light bearer, fine by me, whatever. Now, let's just have a look at the video. And here, there is an additional thing I don't really like, uh, especially for supports. If you do not show allies, how can I tell whether the thing I'm seeing are only applied to himself or to all allies as well. Like this one seems just to be a self buff. What's being buffed? I have no idea. But you don't show allies. I don't know if this is going to apply to them as well. But what well, I mean is a support. So in theory, it should support the team. So that should be a no brainer. It should also help the other team members. The passive is not shown, so we do not know. This seems to be the active one. The passive should be an increase in magic damage. How that increase works, we don't know. If it's going to be a 30, or like a, a percentage multiplier on top, 
or if it's going to be additive with the other multipliers we have. We don't know. We will have to wait for the unit to be out and to test it a bit to see actually how it works. But that should be pretty easy to test also in the arena simulation. It shouldn't be a big deal, but we will see. So again, we have no allies. We don't know how many units are going to be affected. And that's the same for the following ones. This one, we only had one enemy, so we don't know if that initial marking is only single target or if it can hit multiple units. We don't know. But the circle behind, like beneath his feet are, is for sure AOE. Is a close range one because the center was Leroro. That means this guy is going to be like Warion, is not going to be a support that's going to stand in the back line. Obviously, this stiletto make it, made it pretty obvious, but still, uh, you will need to build resistances on him if you want him to survive. So that's one thing to take into account. If you don't have a build like Runda set or like a support set for him, that could be a problem. Then here we have the special skill. This just seems to be an AOE attack, but the AOE is really small, so you could probably max hit two enemies. But again, they didn't even put an enemy here. We have no idea. Could even be a buff for an ally. We don't know. So yeah, it's likely going to be a damage skill, but we don't know. We don't even know if this barrier is applied only to himself or also allies. We have no clue. And this shield, I don't think it's going to be a normal shield like the one for Romei or the other units or Warion, whatever, Uruk, etc. It's not going to be an actual HP shield. It's probably going to be something similar to Shiliel. She also has this sort of bubble, but she only gives evasion. So yeah, I would say something of the sort. Maybe, hopefully, it could be damage reduction. We don't know. Or increase in magic and physical resistances. We have no idea. Still, I hope, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be an AOE one. If like the damage or crowd control or whatever it does with the initial hit and this shield provide really good utility, you could run this guy with the new set, the idea set, so that he can cast it two times and maybe like keep active the damage reduction on a potential Yuri frontliner. Again, I'm just trying to guess. No information to go like to analyze and to talk about. There's just too little to, to try and, and guess what's going on. This is just the animation. Look pretty cool. And that's about it, guys. So I would say that was pretty much all for this video. I'm not going to say anything else. It doesn't make any sense. So I will wait you guys uh, tomorrow during the live stream. And yeah, that's pretty much all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on these units as well in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.